CIS 101, Introduction to Computers, is John A. Logan College's digital literacy course. Because technology changes, you must keep up with the changes. By the end of the semester, you will have a current knowledge and better understanding of computers and their uses. That is, you will be digitally literate. Computer. This semester you will learn that there are many different sizes and categories of computers. However, all of these computers have something in common because each is an electronic device that operates under the control of instructions stored in its own memory. The electronic device is computer hardware and the instructions are computer software. The computer system is able to accept data, input, manipulate or process data, and produce information, output, and store results. Laptops, tablets, and desktops are all examples of personal computers. A server is a computer dedicated to providing one or more services to other computers or devices on a network. Mobile devices are small enough to hold in your hand. Examples of mobile devices include the smartphone, digital camera, portable media player, ebook reader, and game console. Of unprocessed items while information conveys meaning to users. Regardless of their size or category, computers process data, input, into information, output, and store the data and resulting information for future use. An input device is any hardware component that allows users to enter data and instructions. Two of the more widely used input devices are the keyboard and the pointing device. A keyboard contains keys you press to enter data and instructions into a computer or mobile device. A pointing device allows a user to control a pointer on the screen. One type of pointing device is the mouse. Another is the touchpad. A microphone is an input device that allows voice input, a webcam is an input device that allows voice and video input. Scanners read printed text and graphics and then translates the results into a form the computer can process. By using a scanner, data is captured directly from the source document. Scanners can increase input accuracy and efficiency. It has been processed into a useful form. An output device is any hardware component that can visually convey text, graphics, and video information to one or more people. A printer is an output device that produces text and graphics on a physical medium. This output is called a hard copy. A display is an output device that visually conveys text, graphics, and video information. The information shown on a display device is known as soft copy. Speakers, an audio output device, are a computer component that produces music, speech, or other sounds. Earbuds and headphones are also examples of audio output devices. The difference between headphones and earbuds is that headphones cover or are placed outside of the ear while earbuds rest inside the ear canal. Memory consists of electronic components that store instructions waiting to be executed and the data needed by those instructions. By contrast, holds data, instructions, and information for future use. A computer keeps data, instructions, and information on a storage media. A storage device records, writes, and slash or retrieves, reads, items to and from storage media. The Internet is a worldwide collection of networks that connects millions of businesses, government agencies, educational institutions, and individuals. A popular service on the Internet is called the World Wide Web. When you think of the Internet, think of a collection of computers networked together, when you think of the World Wide Web, think of a collection of documents that are called web pages. A website is a collection of related web pages and a web server is a computer that delivers requested web pages to your computer. Web pages can display text, graphics, audio, and video on a computer or mobile device.
software that allows you to view web pages is called a web browser. Once you have a computer that is connected to the internet and you have web browser software, you will be able to view web pages. While surfing the web, you can use search engines to find websites and web pages. A search engine is software that allows you to search the web for specific information. Facebook is one example of an online social network. Other examples include YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. It is important that computer and mobile users are aware of these digital safety and security issues. A virus is a potentially damaging computer program, a worm is a computer program that copies itself repeatedly, and a Trojan horse is a program that hides or looks like a legitimate program. Computer viruses, worms, and Trojan horses are classified as malware, short for malicious software. To protect your privacy, do not share information that would allow others to identify or locate you and do not disclose identification numbers, usernames, passwords, or other personal security details. In addition, prolonged computer use can lead to health concerns, and e-waste can polluting our environment. Green computing refers to reducing electricity and environmental waste while using computers. People use, and often waste, resources such as electricity and paper while using a computer. Listed on this screen are several green computing strategies. This semester you will learn about computer software. Computer software consists of a series of instructions that tells the computer what to do and how to do it. Computer software is also known as a program. There are two categories of software, system and application. When your computer hardware is turned on, the first software that is used is the system software. This software controls your computer. The operating system is a set of programs that coordinates all activities among computer hardware devices. Utility programs, also known as tools, allow the user to perform maintenance type tasks usually related to managing a computer, its devices or its programs. Once the system software is loaded, you are able to use application software. Application software allows you to perform a wide variety of tasks. Application categories include productivity, graphics and media, personal interest, communications, and security. Installing is the process of setting up software to work with the computer, printer, and other hardware. Once installed, you can run an application so that you can interact with it. Most computer users find a graphical user interface easier to use. This is the interface most users work with today. Menus and visual images such as ribbons, buttons, and other graphical objects are used to issue commands in a GUI environment. Windows has a graphical user interface. Because it is easy to learn and use, a GUI often is called user-friendly. Software developers use a programming language or program development tool to create computer programs and apps. Communications technologies are everywhere. In the course of a day, it is likely you use, or use information generated by, one or more of these communications technologies. Communications device is hardware capable of transferring items from computers and devices to transmission media and vice versa. Examples of communications devices are modems, wireless access points, and routers. We opt for wireless communications. Wireless communications technologies include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular radio. Wi-Fi uses radio signals to provide high-speed internet and network connections, Bluetooth uses short-range radio signals to enable Bluetooth-enabled computers and devices to communication, and cellular radio uses the cellular network enable high-speed internet connections to devices such as smartphones. Network is a collection of computers and devices connected together via communications devices and transmission media. 
there are many advantages to using a network, facilitating communications, sharing hardware, sharing data and information, sharing software, and transferring funds. Works exist in a range of sizes, from a small network connecting two home computers to a global network, such as the Internet. Networks are widely used in business. Technology has changed society today and people interact directly with technology in a number of fields. To assist with education. To provide citizens with up-to-date information. To take care of banking and finances. To purchase products and service. To listen to audio, watch videos, read a book, or play a game. To research health care issues. To plan travel. To assist with research. To publish online. And. To assist with manufacturing fabrication and assembly. For a home user, small slash home office user, mobile user, power user, or enterprise user, everyday people around the world use various technologies.